Let's move to the first exercise. Question 26. If roots of equation x square minus 5x plus 1 equal to 0 are a and b, then find the equation whose roots are ca plus 1 and cb plus 1, where a, b and x are real numbers. While many of you might be tempted to solve the equation, find the values of, find the roots of find a and b, and then find ca plus 1 and cb plus 1, and then find the answer. That might be a little time consuming because it is not necessary that this will give you a straightforward real or uh, natural numbers as roots. It might be a case wherein the roots are irrational numbers. Okay. For example, in this particular question, if you check out D, discriminant D, which is B square minus 4 AC, D will be uh, B square is minus, 20, minus 5 square is 25, 25 minus 4 under root which is equal to under root 21 so you are not likely to, you are not getting numbers which are convenient but if this question was giving me convenient numbers i would have checked with started with a b got the new roots and solved it so let's look at this particular question now the roots of the new equation have to be 3a plus 1 and cb plus 1 so the sum of the roots of the new equation has to be 3a plus 3b plus 2 which is nothing but 3 into a plus b plus 2 but what is a plus b? Again, if you look at this particular equation, the original equation, as per the original equation, the sum of roots would have been a plus b, which is minus b upon a, which is minus of minus 5 by 1, which is equal to 5. So a plus b is 5. Similarly, the product of roots a into b, as per the original equation out here, would have been c upon a, which is equal to 1. So a plus b is 5, a b is 1. So sum of roots is nothing but 3 into 5, 15 plus 2, 17. So, the quadratic equation typically is x square minus sum of roots into x plus product of roots equal to 0. So, my answer has to be minus 17x because sum of roots is 17. Choice B is incorrect because it is giving me plus 17x. Choice C is incorrect because it is giving me 25x. Choice D and choice A both give us minus 17x. So, we will retain them. Similarly, what about the product of roots? 3a plus 1 into 3b plus 1. This will be equal to 9ab, which is 3a into 3b, plus 3a into 1, plus 1 into 3b. So, 3a plus 3b, which means plus 3 into a plus b plus 1. So, this product of roots will effectively become this expression. Now we know AB is 1, so substitute AB as 1 and A plus B as 5 in this. So this becomes 9 plus 3 into 5 plus 1. 15 plus 10, 25. So the product of roots has to be 25. So my equation has to be x square minus 17x plus 25 equal to 0. Correct answer is choice A. So please remember, if the equation is simple, and you will you are getting real uh, natural numbers as roots then straight away factorize get the roots the new roots and the equation but if you are not getting the natural numbers as root you are getting irrational numbers or difficult numbers as roots then you are better off solving it the way we have just solved out here that if the new roots are 3a plus 1 and 3b plus 1 the new sum of roots has to be this much new product of roots has to be this much and hence the answer has to be this particular equation, choice A.